بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو انوینٹری مینجمنٹ پورٹل دس از علی رضا اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کنٹینیو آر سپلائر ورک اینڈ آلسو دا کسٹمرز ٹیبل ڈیٹا وی ہیو ٹو انسرٹ فرام آر پی ایچ پی پروجیکٹ اوکے سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ اینڈ اوور لک واٹ وی ہیو ٹوڈے اور رائٹ گائی سو دس از مائی سپلائر ونڈو بٹ بیکاز وی ہیو چینج آر ریٹریو میتھڈ ان دا پریویس کلاس سو وی ہیو ٹو اپڈیٹ آر ریٹریو فنکشن ایوری ویئر ان سائڈ دا پروجیکٹ ویئر وی ہیو یوز دیٹ ریٹریو فنکشن because now when you click on the view button you see missing argument for retrieve because we have passed the connection as the argument to the retrieve function in the previous lecture so i have to update this retrieve function wherever we have called this so let's copy come here on the page that is the supplier crude and control f and then paste and then find next so you see we have retrieve but we have to pass the connection here so do we have the connection let us check you see we have this connection available so we have to pass something like this and where is retrieve here it is so let's pass the connection and then where it is here it is so let's pass the connection so everywhere we have to pass the connection so that it gets the connection because in the parameters we have passed the connection that's my parameter and that's the original connection okay don't confuse with the names um unfortunately i have given the same name as the name of my original connection but uh, if you write here c then doesn't matter i hope it is clear to everyone so uh, we have passed the connection now uh, where else we have called the retrieve function let us check okay uh, find next so you see now uh, done uh, not found in the current document so current document is updated with the retrieve now let's go to the browser and click on the view button now you see it is saying that uh, there is an undefined variable uh, con on line number 147 let us check that okay so you see on line number 147 because i have changed the c uh, parameter to c so i have to update it to c and here also so you have to uh, be very careful when you are doing such things changing especially so view okay now you see i'm getting all the records okay now let's check whether it is editing or not so edit now you see the problem uh this thing is because the input tag is not opened that's why this is coming showing me like this so let's try to update this also um inside the retrieve for edit so my retrieve for edit is this and here i have an input that is not correctly opened let's check that where it is so okay so you see here this the opening tag is missing and here also because i have copied and pasted so these are some small issues okay so now let's check um uh, view and edit now the things are coming in a good manner okay and now when i remove this bb2 or update this whether it is updating or not so you see things are working okay now it's time to go back uh, for the you can say uh, for the customers also okay now you might have noticed that we have the opening balance so the opening balance should be displayed here and it should be updated but the problem here is if we update the opening balance and if we have 10 or 20 transactions after the opening balance let's say we have debited some amount we have credited some amount and then uh, let's say we have opened the account with uh, 5000 rupees the opening balance and and later on after 10 20 transactions or 50 60 transactions uh, when i going to update my opening balance then we should take care all the uh, occurrences of the ledger or all the uh, entries of the ledger we should update also so that becomes hectic task okay so uh, to make it simple right now i'm not going to update the opening balance okay i'll just sh uh, show the opening balance inside the table that's it okay so let's go and see the retrieve for edit code and the retrieval code that is st underscore get suppliers okay so come here and go to your inventory db and procedures and st underscore get suppliers first where it is here it is so click on this so you see we have id supplier phone address and the balance now so i have added this in the in the previous lecture so let's pick up the 
procedure and the so that's the 0 1 2 3 and fourth on the fourth number we have opening balance so let's come here and in the retrieve we have displayed the fourth one yes here so let's copy or instead we have to display in the text box but it should be disabled so let's copy the td at the end uh, this should be the td address let's copy from here okay copy and paste now here instead of this we have to specify the ob txt but we are not going to update this it should be 4 and it should be disabled so disabled save and let's copy this again uh, yes and paste it here after 3 so 3 is at this point but now instead of this we have to pass copy and paste and write here 4 that's it ok so both the things are updated and retrieve for edit now we have added a column for opening balance now you see the opening balance is coming by default and when I click on some button or oh sorry on some record and when I click on edit so you see we cannot be able to update the uh, record okay now let's go to the table because the UI of the table is not perfect so where's the table we have created the table here inside the retrieve first so let's go to the retrieve function mm, here inside table okay table active table light and just remove these classes and write here table borderless table responsive medium and then table uh, striped where is that yes ok now one more thing that we have to specify here is the column size so we should give your column size 9 and offset 1 and save so let's try to put this setting inside the retrieve for edit because we are creating table here also so remove this setting and copy that setting or the CSS or the bootstrap you can say so inside the table and paste save and let's check what's the output view okay now uh, it's better but the offset should be increased and when I click on the edit button okay now it's it should be okay what's uh, going outside view and then when we click on this and edit so a column is removed or missing so inside this heading we have to add a header after address that is the opening balance ok and the fourth one is actions and then save and then come here and then click on the view button so just refresh first view ok opening balance is there but wait a minute we have to copy this and paste it in the in this also so paste opening balance and actions ok now let's check view now things are better but we have to make the offset uh, into let us uh, let us go to the call size 2 offset 2 and now refresh view okay that's that was fine that is 8 now the things will better okay now the next thing is that we have to do is to when we click on the edit button you see it is com it is coming inside the whole uh, on the whole whole page so we have to put this error message inside uh, the column so where is that error message let's go to the error message that is this one 
and put it inside the div. So echo and div class equals to container, but it should be in container and call size should be 6 okay and then echo and div close that's it okay save but before saving let's copy this and we have to use it everywhere so where are our messages here it is our here we have the message so let's put inside the div again and the div close okay guys quality deserves or needs time so don't worry about the time that we are using here paste again and echo and div close save okay now where else we have to show this yes here it is so let's come here and paste and echo and div close and that's it where else we need to do this uh, I think that's it okay so let's check it out now we have saved come here and view and edit now you see it's better now you can make this center line and other things the alert dismissal and other and you can see you can do rest many things now but you see when I am updating this is the testing of the application so when I am clicking directly on the update button we get the same that means we have left the update one so in the update you see it's blank paste and echo and then div close okay so update but when somebody tries to click empty update button so it should retrieve the data also so copy and paste and save and now let's check so when I click on the view button when I click on the update button so you see nothing is happening why okay we are not coming to this because IDRB is blank if the IDRB is blank we should retrieve okay I think the connection is the problem let's check the connection to and come here and view view and then update okay select any user first is coming but the view is not working because of the connection okay retrieve con that's fine okay let's remove this and put it after the error message now let's check view update okay I hope it is clear now uh, when we click on the delete so you see again on the delete we have to do the same so let's go and do that on the delete so that's my delete and if the ID is not there then simply copy the above code that we have done for the update one let's copy this please select any user first and then paste and save come here and refresh view delete okay that's fine so we have done with all the necessary testing and now it's all about the UI so you can improve the UI change the colors and all that okay later on we'll see that now uh, because of the time limit we have to uh, quickly move to the uh, customers so because uh, if the suppliers is working correctly then we have to just copy this page uh, to the new page that is the customers page so that we can insert the customers okay so let's close this all and come here and just save this page as customer crude and then save so guys we got the same page now that is for the customers all we need to do is to change the respective things with the customers table so customer management is the heading and now let's go to the admin and select the customers table where is the customers table inside the tables customer 
Okay, so inside the customers table, we have these columns. This is the identity column that means auto increment. So I wanted to pass name, CNIC, phone and address. Okay, name, CNIC, phone and address. So let's check what, what we have here. Name, CNIC is missing, phone and address are there and opening balance I have to pass because we have the ledger of the customer too. So let's add the CNIC uh, div. Copy, so name, then we have the CNIC. So after C, uh, name we put the CNIC, CNIC and then text and it should be CNIC TXT and that's it. Save and let's, that, let's go and check what's the output. So you see now customer management, everything is very similar. Now uh, name, CNIC, phone address, opening balance, everything is fine. Button primary and I don't want this button primary instead. Uh, do we have to change these buttons okay for btn success let's try to experiment these things and btn warning save and refresh so that's another ui that we need okay now what we have to do <coughs> this next step is to update the other things no, name one more thing that I have to pass here is and and copy this all if CNIC is not empty so we have to write here CNIC TXT and that's it after this we have to pass here the CNIC to so dollar CNIC is my variable is equals to copy this code and paste it and pass here CNIC TXT and because we have the second parameter as CNIC but we have to check that whether we have second parameter or the what is the sequence of the parameter so let's go and insert customer okay name CNIC phone and address the sequence is the same come here name CNIC phone and address just remove this insert supplier and copy this insert customer and paste it okay and one one more thing that we have to let's first uh, yes control Z sorry control V so insert customer I have given here and then the array and then the customer added successfully and yes the rest of the things remains the same that is the when the opening balance is greater than zero then put the debit put the opening balance inside the debit when the opening balance is less than zero put the uh, opening balance inside the credit but remove the negative sign because when the user enters a negative value that means uh, if somebody wants to I want to pay someone so that's the negative balance so I'll pass minus 5000 inside this but when I pass minus 5000 let me show you this logic the formula that I have told you is balance equals to let me zoom balance equals to balance plus debit minus credit okay that's what the formula if somebody gives the negative value okay so what will happen let's say balance was 5000 plus debit was zero then minus is already here and if somebody has given the minus value then it will become minus 5000 like something like this so double minus gives me plus minus minus plus that is the problem so ultimately we get the wrong calculation so that's why I have to remove this minus from the input for that purpose I cannot uh, say the customer to please avoid minus sign instead what I have what I will do I will simply remove the minus sign with the help of the math function cl uh, math class function that is the absolute and the absolute function is utilized to remove the negativity from the number so if somebody will enter the amount that is less than zero let's say minus 1000 then that minus will be removed with the help of the absolute and then it will be stored inside the credit variable and then uh, if somebody will enter 0 or if somebody will enter 0, 0.00 anything one more thing I repeat here in the previous lecture I have already demonstrated that that the text box will consider 0 as empty okay so you have to enter the 0 as 0, 0.00 if you are entering 0 only okay so make sure you are doing this and then uh, we have the date and the description and the balance and the balance is now the all the code is the same but here we have to get the last 
uh, customer ID instead of the last supplier ID. So let's go inside MySQL and pick up the last get last supplier ID. Let's open that variable. Sorry, stored procedure, and we have to copy this or instead let's create a new stored procedure. No problem. So execute. Sorry, select zoom delimiter forward slash forward slash forward slash forward slash delimiter semicolon create procedure st underscore get last customer id round brackets begin and select from customer c order by customer dot id so we have to order by with respect to the customer id and it should be in descending and i wanted to get the last uh, customer id so limit 1 limit 1 gives me the last customer okay the last entered customers id will get from this query so c dot id as id okay so the customer id will be picked up with the help of this code and semicolon at the end sorry not here here now that's all so copy and execute commands completed successfully let's go and call this so where i have to call this let's copy first and i have to paste it here and remove this so you see now that get last id function that i have created in the previous lecture let me show you inside the load list that is this one okay so i am reusing this function again and again just passing the new parameter new stored procedure and the id is returned simple okay so in the previous lecture we have done this all just letting you know now so get last id with the help of this function we'll get the last id and then it will store inside the customer id variable so cust id and now instead of this we have to write here cust id so what's this this is for the updation sorry the insertion or in the customer's ledger so let's go and pick up the insert customer ledger stored procedure insert customer ledger so we create we have created these stored procedures in the previous classes you see now date customer id description debit credit balance so you see your date where's date date customer id we have taken from there description in the description i have written the opening balance and then credit and then the balance and instead of this today i'm going to pass this one so copy and paste insert customer ledger okay and then the customer added successfully and you notice here i have called so here i haven't passed any message i have just inserted the customer at this point and then i have inserted so this time i'm using two things okay or i'm inserting inside two tables on single click so insert customer ledger and then uh, the connection is newly created but this is a problem for me in later when we deploy our uh, for later purposes when we deploy our application if we have used this connection so many times inside the application then we have to take make sure that uh, the uh, the data should be uh, insert the the connection should be updated as per the deployment environment okay so you have to take care of this uh, usernames and the passwords later on so that's for the insert okay now after insertion let's check what's the what are the other things yes we have to do the retrieve we have to do here of course the cust id that will become our session so let's go to the retrieve cust id will become a session name please select any customer first customer and then first go to the retrieve name then we have cnic right so let's copy this name and then cnic so c n i c then phone then address then opening balance that's fine so the id should be in the zero let's go to the remove this and write get customers so get customers here we have okay select all from the customers okay so copy this 
and paste it here so what all the customers will come but one thing that I have to check you see there are there is no inner join let me let me zoom inner join with the ledger so the opening balance will not come so let's change this so inner join ledger that is the customer ledger this time LC on C dot ID is equals to LC dot customer ID okay now all the columns of the ledger will come but I don't want all the columns okay instead I need C dot ID as ID the first column then I need C dot name as um, name or you can write the customer and then we need CNIC as CNIC and then we need phone as phone and then we need uh, c dot address as address but one thing we also need here that lc dot opening balance but there are so many there are so many records inside this so we have to change we have to apply a condition here that is where lc dot description lc dot description is equals to opening balance so let's copy that opening balance from here where is that in the description I have given the opening balance where is that so you see this one so copy and paste it here so only that record where the description will be opening balance will be picked uh, picked up okay and now um, I think that's enough 0 1 2 3 4 5 and go okay so the procedure has been modified now let's click on the get customer now now you see we have these columns so on 0 we have ID so let's go to the retrieve function on 0 we have ID on 1 we have the name let's verify yes and then on 2 we have CNIC okay it's CNIC then we have phone then address then opening balance then phone okay 0 1 2 3 4 and I think we have 5 also 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 yes so we have to copy this and paste it at the end and here we can write 5 that will display the opening balance and then you see these are my buttons so let's give the space between the buttons so that they can be not uh, stick to each other okay now so every button is primary button no I want the update button as success button and the delete button as warning button or the danger button okay btn danger okay now uh, the things will display in a good manner no customers available okay and come here and then go to the page and refresh now you see when we click on the view so I don't have any customers right now okay so up till now we are going in a correct direction now when we are going to edit the customers we want to get the uh, customers again so let's copy this name in retrieve for edit we have to paste it get customers and now here instead of instead of this we have to specify cust id as the session name and one thing that is the cnic after name we have to add so copy and paste here we have to write cnic okay and then uh, we have to write here after because when the customer ID matched what whatever we have clicked so we have to display the input okay zero is the ID then name then after this we have to display the CNIC so let's copy this TD and paste it again 
and it should be C N I C text C N I C T X T and the value will become 2 because the C N I C is on the third place let us check 0 1 2 no 0 1 2 on the second place it is so 0 then 1 then 2 it's fine ok and then we have on the third that is phone so let's update this and on the fourth we have address and then on the fifth we have the opening balance so phone address everything is fine and then we have to do the same inside this so copy td and paste it here so 0 1 and then 2 3 then 4 and then it should be 5 okay that's my opening balance but i don't want my opening balance to uh, to be the uh, okay it's disabled because we have copied and pasted no customers available that's the message that we have to change okay so this function is updated this function is updated select any customer first and select any customer first okay and update supplier so you see we have to do this also so instead of update supplier what we have to update we have to update the customer so let's go and update the customer so here we have the procedure for update customer just copy it and paste it here and then one more thing that we have to pass is when we are inserting the record we have taken the cnic so let's copy this cnic and paste it inside the update one so after this okay paste we have the id from the idrb but this should be the cust id that's the variable name and i wanted to update with respect to the customer id update customer cnic and everything is there one more condition that i have to pass here is this copy okay now here is the problem because we are updating not from the text boxes okay so might be the text boxes become empty so we have to verify that and we have to remove this condition instead we have to check no 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 that's fine uh, because in the text boxes that are coming in the uh, table they have also the same name so this that this condition is fine so anything else remaining yes session name so i'm creating the session with the name customer id and i'm calling the value in the cust id and where else i have to check okay in the retrieve for edit we have cust id that's the session name that's fine let's go to the delete now so when delete is there delete supplier so i don't want to delete supplier i don't i wanted to delete the customer so let's close this and delete customer so here it is so now it's the payback time guys so delete customer and then data deleted successfully select any customer first now let's check hopefully i haven't left with anything so first of all name of the customer that will become hajra cnic is this phone is this address is this opening balance is 0, 0.0 and save okay so it says that we have a problem with the add or update a child row because the constraint fails okay let's check what's the problem all right guys you see i have opened the insert customer stored procedure that is uh, insert customer and you see that's the mistake i have written here ledger customer though that's the customer table that's why it is giving me errors so let's write here insert into customer and then these are the columns of my customer table and then these are the values okay now let's execute this commands completed successfully 
okay the the procedure has been modified let's come here and refresh and then again give you a name let's say junaid cnic phone address opening balance 0, 0.0 and save so you see now things are working correctly and when i click on the edit button so you see please select any customer first working when i click on the update same message when i click on the delete same message and when i click on junaid and when i click on edit so you see every everything is coming in the edit mode and let's write here junaid khan okay and then phone number is 000 and then cnic sorry and phone number is also this and the address is nn and let's click on the update so it's saying that please pass the parameters that are expected 5 and i have passed 4 so we have this problem inside the st underscore update customer so let's go and update update button okay so these are the things and cust id is there so we have passed yes cnic is missing that's why the problem is this so we have to write here dollar cnic that's fine okay now come here and again click on this edit and then junaid 12 phone cnic 12 nk 12 and then update so you see things are updated okay okay so now i wanted to delete so let's click on this and delete so you see now no customers available and data deleted successfully so that's all now we have to change the title and then put it inside the uh, admin dashboard so let's write here customer and save and now one thing that we have to do here is the form that we have created inside the form we have the hidden field okay so let's go to the admin dashboard here we have to check we have reached till 7 okay so what we can do we can simply copy and we have to make sure that the numbers are correct so let's put it on 8 and here we have to open the customer crude so c u s t o m e r customer c r u d crude dot php so we have to pass the value to 8 uh go to the customer crude and here we have to pass the hidden value 8 in order to perform navigation so value equals to 8 and where else we have written the hidden field inside the form so let's go to the retrieve functions we have this form and hidden field is there and the value is 8 and save and where else we have to pass the value inside the ready the edit yes you see the single quote is missing that means that in the previous page on the supplier screw that was also missing so that is a problem so let's open that supplier uh, crew and correct from there as well so these are some little little mistakes we do so let's go to the retrieve here it is and when you see here yes it, you see this single quote is missing here it all, it is also missing save now uh, let's go and check the output uh, i have to write here admin db dot php and now you see uh, i haven't add but but i haven't add the customers here okay so what i have to do i have to uh, go back inside the dreamweaver and admin db let's click here admin db and before purchase invoice i'll add my customers in the list so let's copy this purchase invoice and then come here after colors and then paste it so this purchase invoice remove this and write here customers and put the id as 8 simple okay okay uh, save now let's check it out okay so customers now customers customers are there when you view so things are working i hope it is clear to everyone and uh, let's try to add a customer whose balance is something greater than 
So Naeem and the CNIC is this, this, phone number is this, this, address is this and the balance is 1000 and then save. Okay, Naeem added successfully, the balance is there. Okay, opening balance. And now let's add another customer, Jamil. CNIC is this, phone is this, address is this and the opening balance is minus 2000 and now save. So we have saved the opening balance with minus 2000. It is displayed like this. And now let's go to the ledger inside the uh, database, inside the tables of the customer ledger. So you see now what's the what's the what's going on? That was I have demonstrated. The the account is opened uh, with 1000 rupees, and and uh, another account is opened with another customer with 2000 rupees, but in negative. So it see. The 2000 negative amount, the negative value is removed and then ultimately we get the minus 2000 with the help of the formula that we have applied. So I think that's all for today. Hope you have learned how to add ledger with, your, with respect to your supplier and how to add customer and the ledger of the customer. So now from uh, onwards, when we open a customer or when we open a uh, supplier account, ultimately its ledger will also be start creating okay so that's all if you do not understand anything please do write me and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button and do press the bell icon for the latest tutorials uh, for it so thank you so much take care Allah Hafiz.